The head of the Sewage and Water Board didn't hold back when describing the latest controversy involving his agency. Brazen and dumb, yeah. These are brass fittings used in everyday work by staffers at the Sewage and Water Board. The city pays $15 a pound for them, and they're used to install and repair all city water meters. But over the last three years, 10 former Sewage and Water Board employees are accused of stealing them. You can't get away with something like that for years and years and years. Uh, people are going to notice. But no one did until the inspector general launched a probe earlier this year. Here's how the IG says it all went down. He says workers would take these brass fittings into the field with them because until recently, there were no checks and balances. Workers allegedly stole these parts, sold them at local scrap yards, and then pocketed the money. Anywhere from 50, 60 pounds up to several hundred. And 20, 30, 50, I mean, uh, it ran the gamut of how many different transactions. Um, an individual may do ultimately 1,000 or 2,000 pounds. Somebody may do as little as uh, 50 to 100 pounds. The Sewage and Water Board says it's hired a new head of security. And for now, all vendors must emboss items like brass and copper with the Sewage and Water Board logo to identify it as government property. What basically I'm dealing with here is a, a culture where people think they can do things till they can't. I mean, th th you know, again, I, I am, have totally changed the organization in relation to how it's managed.